Okay, so let's talk about gray codes. Um, I'll use gray here instead of green. Oh, there you go. So be a lot of gray. Oh. So <clears throat> gray codes are different than the traditional uh, binary numeral system that we're used to. So in binary numerals, uh, what we're familiar with, uh, if we have like say four bits, or say, let's say we have three bits, we have um, 0, 0, 0, and then 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and then, okay. Um, if we have uh, a traditional binary numbering system like this, well, we go from 0 all the way up to, uh, oopsie, all the way up to 7, which is, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, second. Um, so, <clears throat> that ought to be black. There we go. Close. So, we will mark our way up from 0 to uh, to 7 over here. So, let's mark this down to 7 up here. Okay, great. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, great. So, those are binary numerals. Uh, gray codes are a bit different. Gray codes uh, <clears throat> work like this. So, instead of having uh, going between 0 and 1, we have a different uh, strategy. We start out uh, in our least significant bit, uh, like this. We say 0, 1, 1, 0. So, okay. Uh, now, this is not an entire gray code yet. There's some obvious duplication here, so let's just keep, uh, I'll show you the pattern here. Uh, so we have 0, 1, 1, 0, and then in this column we'll have 0, 0, 1, 1, okay, and then I'll, I'll make this three bits, so then we have 0, 0, 0, Zero. Okay. Um, let's just keep this going here. So I'm going to have <coughs> another zero, one, one, zero. Okay. Here I'm going to have one, one, o, oh, o, oh, and then finally we'll have uh, one, 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 one. Okay. Um, so this is a bit different than that, as you can see. I mean, the first spot is the same, so that's about where the similarity. Well, this spot and that spot, and then after that, pretty much the similarity ends right there. Um, because as you can see, uh, in, the, in this spot over here, they're not the same. Likewise, over here, they're not the same, and, well, as you can see, pretty much at that point, similarities end. There's no commonality here. So it's like, what is going on? Right? What's going on over here? So in gray codes, uh, there's a pattern, and I kind of showed you this as I was building this thing up. The basic gist of it is, um, if we look at each bit, so suppose we look at these bits here. Between here and there, well, one bit has changed. Likewise, uh, between, so between these two uh, rows. Between these two rows, uh, these bits have changed, but no other bits have changed. And then finally, back over here, well, um, these bits have changed, but no other bit, or these bits bit has changed, but no other bits have changed. Um, and we can just keep going. What we should notice is that between rows, only one bit is ever changing inside of a gray code. Uh, so here we go. So here we go. Between those two, that's the bit that's changing. Between these two, as you can see, this is the bit that's changing. And finally, this last row here, this is the bit that's changing over here. Okay. Whereas, as you notice in the in binary numerals, uh, between any two uh, possible numbers, there could be quite a few bits that are changing. Like, like between here and there, well, that's just one bit's changing. But between this and that, well, this bit's changing as is this bit. Uh, and likewise over here, every single bit here is changing. So every bit is changing. So every bit's changing. All right. So the point behind gray codes, the reason why we even talk about them is because we want to have a way of encoding, so it's encoding data uh, so that uh, the difference between uh, adjacent code words too easy there between two adjacent I should say adjacent over here adjacent when I say adjacent I mean uh, this is these two are adjacent these two are adjacent so two adjacent code words is just one bit. One bit is the difference between any two uh, adjacent code words. That's a very handy property. 
Um, and we'll see where those come in handy very soon when we talk about Carnot maps. So uh, let's just uh, continue on with gray codes for a little bit. Uh, gray codes are also known as um, symmetric codes. So uh, just scroll down a bit. So if I keep the pattern going, uh, here's what would happen. So let's say I have four bits now. So zero, oops, zero, 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 zero. All right, so I'm going to do it the way I would build up a gray code. So my pattern is going to be zero, one, one, zero. And I'm going to basically duplicate that pattern over in this row. I'll uh, make that pattern like four times as large over here, and then eight times as large over there. So, uh, so zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero. This is how we build up a gray code. So now you have uh, four of these over here. Um, so I have zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero. And then I have that again. So I have zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero. So you notice I have twice as many as I had before. So you see, whereas in this uh, uh, column over here, I had one zero followed by two uh, ones followed by a zero. Here I have two zeros followed by four ones followed by two zeros. And then I repeat uh, this pattern over here. So I'm repeating over here. So I have two zeros, four ones, two zeros. And likewise, in this column, I'm just going to, uh, so just keeping track. So we have our ones, our twos, move this up a bit. Just kind of squeeze it in here. So our ones, our twos, our fours, and our eighth spot. So here I have going to have four zeros. Uh, and then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, ones. And then I'll have one, two, three, four zeros. And then finally, in this spot, I'll just pretty much going to have eight zeros. Zero, one, uh, so, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Now I'm running out of room, and that's okay. Um, even though I'm out of room, this takes into account all possibilities. As long as I construct it this way, I know I have all possibilities. So this is the this is a four-bit gray code uh, for this whole table here. So this whole table represents the four-bit uh, gray codes. Um, and uh, the key thing here is that we're talking about these things in order. So we're representing zero here, I should say. Let me just erase this really quick. We're going to represent uh, zero with the familiar thing. But uh, this will be one, this will be two, this will be three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15. And as you notice, this is different. Remember, this is different than binary numerals. Very different. But the key thing to notice is that uh, between any two code words, so this is a code word over here, this is a code word over here, between any two code words, between any two adjacent code words, there's only going to be a one bit difference between any of them. Okay. 